Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Second Quest. In the last episode, we survived our trek through Death Mountain, and acquired rupees and various items along the way. We got enough rupees, in fact, that we managed to buy the blue ring, and enough heart containers to get the white sword. So now that our defensive and offensive capabilities are increased, we can now tackle the dungeons of the second quest. Which is what we will be doing today as we return to level 2 for some unfinished business. But before that, I need to update you guys on something I said last time regarding the, regarding the recorder and uh, warping functions it does. For whatever reason, I cannot seem to return to the entrance of the first quest level 6 using the recorder no matter which direction I face. For whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure why it's not working. I don't know if I actually had to take the rupees in order to flag the, I don't know, the prove to the game that I was in the area. Or maybe I had to take the staircase with the Armo statue covering it. Or maybe I have to actually beat level 6 in the second quest and get the piece of the Triforce in order to make it count. But for whatever reason it's not working, it's not going to affect my plans really because I have the power bracelet. And those staircases that the power bracelet opens up, there's one that's literally one screen away from the entrance to the old level 6. So, you know, it's just maybe like a couple extra screens of travel, that's like the only difference, so it's not a big deal. But since we're talking about the recorder, let's pull that back out, whistle up some wind, and we're going to warp on over to the entrance to level 1. Watch out for the Octorok. I don't need to take any damage off right off the bat. We are going to... ooh, bombs! I could use those. Yay, I got my full supply of bombs. We are going to head on over to level 2 now. Alright, we got some red levers. They're nice enough to line up in a straight line for me. I guess I'll just take that. And on this screen, remember before I have mentioned that... that there was a secret here that bombs and fire would not reveal for me? Well, that's because if you play the recorder... a staircase will open up! With a secret to everybody! Our favorite kinds of secrets. 30 rupees! Yeah, by the time I finish level level 2, I almost said level 6 for a second there. By the time I finish level 2, I would like to have at least 60 rupees. Yeah, I might get lucky and uh, if these guys drop some 5 rupees for me. Nope, not here anyway. I'm hoping to have at least 60 rupees on hand by the time I finish level, level 2. Again, I almost said level 6. I apparently must really want to do level 6. Get that out of the way or something. Alright, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, I have to make a purchase before entering level 3. And it costs 60 rupees. If you played the second quest before, you know what it is. Uh, Zora? Ah, nuts. Okay, good. I'll just take that heart. Go over this way. Clean these guys out. But yeah, since rupees are pretty scarce and we're almost out of uh, secrets to everybody, I will have to start killing enemies more often to get rupees. That's just kind of the way things are. So, alright, whoop, 59? Alright, I got my 60 rupees, alright. I'm gonna pull out my boomerang now. Make things a little easier. Got the blue levers. I'll leave that last one alive there for now, just because I have to return to this screen when I finish the level. And here we are, the entrance to level 2. We've been here before. We've seen about close to half of the level already. Let's see how well these Gibdos stand against me now. Four hits, not so bad. Better than seven, or was it nine? Yeah, it was seven, I think it was. Yeah, I'm just kind of killing these guys to farm for money. Yeah, I already have my bombs, but oh well, I'll take it. Most of these enemies I don't care about. I'm not gonna bother with this door right now. I'll be back. Actually, I might not even have to. I don't even have to open that door. I will probably have to open this one, however. Ah, nuts. Stupid keys. Oh, well. And like before, I'm going to kill all of these Gibdos except for one because I will be backtracking to this point. So take this. Laser swords. Here. Fear the power of the white sword. Another bomb. If only I needed bombs right at this moment. Actually, I probably should pull the bombs out. 
Because if I'm remembering correctly, uh, no, it's the next one. It's the boomerangs. Boomerang would have been fine here. I'm thinking of the next room. There we go. Open those doors. Yeah, this is all kind of recap from last time, but we got Manhandle out. Let's see if I can take him out in one. One bomb. One bomb to... Nah, nuts. Okay, at least it didn't hit him at all. My D-pad is acting really weird. There we go. Ah, nuts. There... Oh. Ah, that, that was cheap. One last ditch fireball. For some reason, my D-pad's acting a little funny. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. And we got Dark Nuts. Not something I was looking forward to, but fortunately, it's just the orange ones. Ooh. Okay, we've seen that before in the first quest, but sometimes when you defeat a certain enemy in select rooms, I believe they're like designated to certain rooms, they will uh, kill uh, all the enemies in the room. And I'm going to use a key for this room up here, because up here we got just a couple zoles. And the map. And this place, if you remember, level 1 was shaped like the letter E, and uh, level 2 is the letter A. If I had gotten the map before in my previous trip here when I was getting the recorder, you would notice that the recorder room is kind of the empty space in the A. That's kind of your way of kind of getting a hint that there's a secret passage here. Anyway, I'm going to take this as a shortcut back over this way. I'm going to wipe out this last Gibdo here. Unfortunately, I don't have beams anymore, but maybe he'll drop a heart. Nope. Oh, well. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to use a key for this door. It doesn't matter which one of these doors you do, because you can bomb the wall. And we got Pole's voices! We don't have arrows to one-shot these guys this time. So we're at a bit of a disadvantage. Let's see if I can wipe out the mummy men real quick. Alright, got some money. Ah, yeah, the Pole's voices, they can descend really quickly if they jump at you. Uh, yeah, they take a lot of hits. They do, and with the blue ring equipped, they do about a whole heart's worth of damage. But we got a key. Line up, Link. I'm going to come down this way first. And we got more dark nuts. Come on, line, line yourself up, Link. There we go. D-pad is acting funny today. There we go. And we got the compass. This wall here can be bombed, but since I... Well, yeah, sure, why not? I'll just demonstrate. There we go. But I'm going to come back up this way and take this door right here instead. Just because I'm going to be traveling to this room anyway. And we got more dark nuts. A whole bunch of them this time. Ooh, there's a heart. I could really use that. There we go. I'd like as much health as possible for the end of this dungeon, when we get that far. There we go, we got my bombs back. There we go, I got a heart, and I got my bombs back again. And nope, you can't push the blocks in this room, and you can't bomb this wall up here. We'll have to find another way to get up that way. So now, let's head straight down. See, I think there's something in this room if I kill all the keys. Yes, we got a key! Dodge the traps. Down here we got some zoles. These are easy peasy lemon, lemon squeezy to take care of. And I got a key there. And sometimes this block here can be pushed in certain rooms later on, but not this, not in this dungeon. And we got more mummy men. I don't really have to kill these guys, but maybe they'll drop a heart or something. Sword beams would be great for the boss. Ooh, a fairy, That'd even better. Take out the mummy men. Clear the way. Bombs and rupees. Alright, got 82 rupees. I'm doing alright. We gotta take our staircase. We all remember this secret passage. And we got more dark nuts. I don't think we get anything for taking these guys out, but may as well do it since it's just they're just the uh, the red ones. And more bombs. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't think it really matters what item I have out, but... Alright. It's time for a boss battle against the two-headed Gliok. Ah, nuts. So much for sword beams. 
Come on. All right, one head down. I think one more shot to do it. All right, got him. And we got our heart container. Gliok has fallen. And now, let's get ourselves the second piece of the Triforce of Wisdom. That went not too bad. A little faster than I expected, but, you know, we'll make this a shorter episode. So next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Second Quest, we'll do a little bit of shopping and then work our way over to level three. So this has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.